folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, so this is not a tip of the day, just a regular episode. Now, a few weeks back, I think it was, I uploaded an episode uh, in which I dealt with all of the accessories and the equipment that I used to film all of my uploads. You could call that my tech ecosystem. That system basically consists of things that I use for this channel, but I also have a personal tech ecosystem. The other part of my job is running a digital photography school, which I've done for 21 years now, 20 years. I deal with students on a day-to-day -day basis. I give lectures in digital cameras, digital photography, video editing, Lightroom, Final Cut, and so on. The first question that I pose to each individual student who comes into the classroom is this. Tell me about your tech ecosystem. I need to know what phone you have, what, what tablet you have, what computer you have. In other words, what are the electronic devices around you that you interface with? Why? Well, because each of them will use different software and there'll be different techniques. And so when I get to know about that, I can help them with their questions. I'm going to look today at my own tech ecosystem. And of course, it's pretty simple. I have a 27-inch iMac. I have an iPhone XS Max which I've used up to now to film every episode. An iPad Pro, 13 inch. AirPods Pro, I have a pair of those. So that's my personal tech ecosystem. Now, some months back, I also uploaded a review of a particular item that gives me the most pleasure, the Nomad Wireless Charge Pad. And you'll remember I said I had a charging pad previously from another company and I was really not happy with it. And then I tested the Nomad. It is the best accessory in my car, the one that I use most and get most enjoyment from, wireless charging pad. And Nomad had what I considered was the best value for money because they had the longest warranty. The price was lower even than the official Tesla charging pad. So on balance, it came as the best wireless phone charging pad that I could have got hold of. And so what came to my mind was, what other products do Nomad sell? There weren't a lot of products that were designed specifically for a Tesla Model 3. Today I want to introduce you to the Nomad products that I got for my personal tech ecosystem. So let's take a look here. So I'm going to be looking at five products today. The first is the cover that they supply that fit the AirPods case or the AirPods Pro, which is the one that I have. Secondly, a leather waterproof strap for the Apple Watch. Oh, that's... So if we look at my personal tech ecosystem, it consists of one, my Apple Watch. We're going to look at the universal charging cable system. You can plug into your car's USB-A connector and it has a USB-C, a micro USB, as well as an Apple Lightning connector, all on the one cable. We're also gonna look at the leather iPhone case, again, waterproof, but a special case that allows for the attachment of moment lenses. I have the moment wide angle lens, there's the anamorphic, there's a telephoto, there's a macro lens. I just have the wide angle at the moment, but this case allows for the attachment of that. And then there's the Nomad portable battery charger with the ability to locate it if you lose it. So it works with the Tile app. It has a built-in Tile and from your phone, you can just tap on your Nomad power charger and it will tell you where it is. It'll make the Nomad charger play a tune and help you locate it. First of all, I opened the Apple Watch strap and uh, you can see it here already fitted. I made sure that I asked for the waterproof version since this watch is waterproof and occasionally I do take it in water. So having a waterproof leather strap makes a lot of sense to me. So I love it, I love the color, I love the fit, 
We'll see how that stands up over time, but a good watch track. Then there was my Apple AirPods Pro. The AirPods Pro is different from the AirPod because the AirPods Pro is a version that has noise cancelling. So here's the AirPod Pro cover and a very innovative little light tube so that you can actually see a little LED that shows whether your AirPods are charging in the case. You get to see it through the leather. put it on, I couldn't get them off. They fit that well. I love the idea of the universal connector. So quite often I'm driving around in my car and I have a, a passenger and they have nothing to charge their phone or their tablet or their iPhone. This is one cable with three connectors at the end. You plug the one end into the car, you hand your passenger the other end of the cable and they can either plug in a micro USB connector or a USB-C or they can plug in a lightning connector if they have an iPad or iPhone. So those three connectors at the end of one cable and it has a five year warranty. Number four, the iPhone case. I cannot just use any old case on my iPhone XS Max. And the reason I cannot is because I've also purchased a beautiful wide angle lens from a company called Moman. Uh, these are not cheap, it's $95 just for one single wide angle lens. They're really, really good. Nomad have made cases that accept the Moment lenses. So in other words, they've put the fitting on there, which is fantastic. So I ordered, again, uh, waterproof leather, nice brown color uh, with the moment lens attachment system already on it and here you see it you can see exactly how that lens fits on the back So that's the iPhone case. And so now we're on to the final one. Most of you have some form of battery charger. There is a little guy here. He uh, doesn't even charge my phone once. And then I've got this one here. Has it got any charge? Uh, I think you can just see the blue lights over there. Uh, this is not bad. This does about one and a half to almost two full charges of my phone. Nomad makes a charger with a bit of a difference. It, it's a 9,000 milliamp hour battery, and it will charge my phone, and I've done this, three full times with a little bit left over. What's so special about it? Well, it's neat, compact, and pretty beautiful. You can see here that it's a really good looking uh, battery charger. The big thing about it is it works with the Tile app. If you've never been introduced to the Tile app, here it is. It's on the App Store. You can see me downloading it here. Uh, it asks you all kind of questions and wants permission to do everything, but then what's different? All apps do that. But here's the thing. When your nomad is lying anywhere near, and you know you put it in the room somewhere, but you don't know where it is, you can just tap on the app, and it begins to play a little tune on your charger, on this portable battery charger.
that's great. I'm frequently putting one of these down somewhere and losing track of it. And just the ability to take this and to have an app on my phone. By the way, if I lose my phone, I'm dead. It opens my car, it finds my devices. I'm probably like most of you. I carry that phone with me the whole time. It's in my pocket, it's in my hand, it's in front of me. What will we do without our phones? So, all in all, there it is. Nomad caters to all of the tech devices that you have in your personal tech eco space. I'm gonna be testing these over the next few months. I love them, I love the way they look, the way they work, they're exactly what I hoped they'd be. And we'll see over time and I'll do another report on the equipment that I got and tell you how it held up. I put some links down below if you feel that some of these would meet your particular needs. Use the link. Um, we do benefit by a very small commission when a sale is made through one of the links we put down there. It's one of the ways that you're able to support the channel and I thank you. And by the way, there are a few of you that used the new PayPal donation link in the description area. Thank you each and every one of you. I cannot tell you what it feels like to have people who've said that the channel means a lot to them actually donate and help toward equipment that I need to buy and costs that I need to go to. So I'm very grateful for that help. Uh, I will see you on Monday again for yet another tip of the day. I believe it's number 35. I'll see you Monday. Look after yourselves. Cheers for now.